Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today our video is about how to analyze an experiment. To analyze is to make a relation between the measured factor, which is the result, and the variable or manipulated factor. An analysis should contain the following. The measured factor or the result of the experiment, the manipulated factor or the factor that we change in the experiment, and the variation, uh, which means a change in aspect, an increase in the value, a decrease of the value, or uh, staying constant. An example on analyzing an experiment. We have here an experiment was done where oil was mixed with pancreatic juice in two tubes. And bile was added to tube one only in order to study the effect of bile on digestion of liquids. Before we start to analyze, we have to understand the given of the experiment. We have oil mixed with pancreatic juice in two tubes, so we have two tubes, and the bile was added to tube one only. Here we can notice from this sentence that the manipulated factor is the bile, because we put bile in one uh, tube and we didn't put the bile in the other one. And here the objective of the experiment to study the effect of bile on digestion of lipids. So we can know here the measured factor or the result. We have to see that's the digestion of lipids. Here we have a, a table of conditions of the experiment. We see two, two tubes, digestive juice is pancreatic juice in both tubes, substrate or food is oil, bile is only present in tube A, and the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. The result is given here as a graph. We see two curves in the graph, a curve for tube A, the blue one, and the curve for tube B. The measured factor is the amount of oil. Okay, we see that the amount of oil uh, is measured in this graph. We are asked to analyze the results of the experiment. You notice that the result, as we said, is a graph, so we have to analyze the graph. And when we have to analyze a graph of double the input or two curves, we have to make it a parallel analysis. It means we have to start at the same point and end at the same point together at the same time. And if we have differences between the two curves, we have to compare between them as we move on. For example, we start always we start with the measured factor we don't start with the time for example we start with the measured factor we say the amount of oil decreased from 10 grams at 0 minutes till 0 grams at 60 minutes in tube a where bile was added we have to mention the manipulated factor here we have to say that in tube a there is bile while while is a very important word here because we are comparing the amount of oil remained constant 10 grams from 0 minutes till 60 minutes where bile wasn't added. This is a manipulated factor. Here we notice we uh, made a relation between the measured factor and the manipulated factor which is the presence and absence of bile. Okay? And don't forget to write the numbers uh, to say increase or decrease or constant and if we have to compare we have to say why. Another example an experiment was done in order to identify the specific enzyme for digesting albumin. Albumin is a type of protein, it's the egg white. The egg white. Conditions and results of the experiment are shown in the table below. So here we have a table of condition. We have two tubes, both tubes contain 5 grams of albumin. In tube A we have the enzyme trypsin, in tube B we have the enzyme intestinal amylase. Just as we look at the table, we can directly reduce the manipulated factor, which is the type of enzyme. And of course, because we want to identify the specific enzyme, so of course we have to make the type of the enzyme as the manipulated factor, because we know we want to know which enzyme is better or is the specific. The temperature is 7 in both, the pH is 8 in both, the time given to both tubes is 1 hour. Notice these three, or the, with the substrate, we call them constant factor. Now let's go to the result. We notice it that the result is given as the mass of albumin. So this is the, the measured factor. We measured the mass of the albumin at the end of the experiment. Notice the result in tube A is 0 gram, 
of albumin. We don't have any albumin while in tube B we have five plants. We are asked here also to analyze the results of the experiment. The amount of albumin, notice, decreased. We start with the amount of albumin because it's the measured fat. Decreased to zero grams in tube. Albumin was mixed with trypsin. We have to show what is the manipulated factor here. While the amount of albumin remained 5 grams in tube B where albumin was mixed with intestinal amylase. Now here we are not asked to give the conclusion. But if you want to conclude the, the enzyme specific for albumin, which one is it? Of course it is trypsin because it changed the, the mass. We see that the albumin, if we can say it separate or was digested or transformed by trypsin but wasn't transformed by intestinal amylase. Thank you for your attention and good day.